He is an amazing cricketer. He walks to the wicket. Millions of people around the world sit up and take notice. And the reason they do is that he has got a fantastic record. 300 one-day internationals. Yes, 300. 56 50s, 3300s. Look at that for timing and placement. That's just magic. What a start. And just a defensive push. Amazing footwork. It was on half volley, was quite wide. And he looked to get his feet over towards the ball and pushed. Just opened the face and brought it a race away. It's a big bat he's got. Most fellas aren't worried about that. Ten Dorkers in town. Four more. There was a full toss, but once again, just along the carpet so easily. Well, he knows where the fielders are. He's already imprinted that on his mind before the bowl is bowled. And so when he gets a full toss or a half volley like this one, the full toss, he just opens the blade knowing he doesn't want to hit it too straight because there's a couple of men there. He wants to beat the man in front of point. And so by opening the blade and only using half a bat, he's able to find the gap and easily to the boundary. Slashed away, good shot. Boy, it nearly went all the way. Oh, dense in the Newey. Wonderful shot. Yeah, just enough whip there. He's uh, given himself more room by just backing outside leg stump. And that was uh, all it took to be able to free uh, his arms and get it right in the middle of the bat. That's the mark I'm talking about. Over mid wicket, he can go either side. If you follow him, he'll just pick you off leg side. There's all the options stored in his little computer there. And he makes it look so easy. This ball kicked back off a length too. Well, he's having fun, isn't he? He's uh, enjoying being out there. Smile on his face. He knows that perhaps wasn't perfectly timed, but well enough. Down on the max zone, he'll pick up eight. Or will it be 12? Flat hit, straight down the ground, just when they needed to up the run rate, bang, Tendulkar. It's a beauty. Well, I thought for a second that Dave Quest here was going to go to the third umpire to see how far it went. The other fella's about a metre away from it. Can't trust his eyesight. <laughs> just inside the line. That one isn't, though. That's a big hit. That is 12. Massive blow, dead straight. That's the name of the game. Canning's first three balls were absolutely out of the top drawer. Tindog could do nothing. And then, bang, eight, bang, 12, and 20 runs to boot. Now they're averaging 13.3 and over. In two hits, it's gone from 8.8 .8 up to 13.3. And India bring up the 50. And just the fourth over. Now, what does Canning do? Has he got a slow ball, a Yorker? Does he whack it in short? He doesn't want to pitch it up. He does. And Tindalka says, uh, happy birthday. Brilliant batting. Tindalka, 24 runs off the last three balls of that over, 55 for one. Well, he's a clever cricketer. He hasn't been showing uh, every shot that he's got in the book, and he hasn't been timing it perfectly, but he got the last three right, didn't he? He's adjusting, sign of a, a top-class player, to, just to take your time and uh, work your way into an innings.
deficit now 68 if Tendulkar bats the majority of uh, the next six overs and of course uh, it won't end up that way challenge here for Jacob Oram four a little lucky hand speed here is uh, is why he gets away with the one or two shots that he hasn't quite got found in the middle of the bat bangs he, so fast through the hitting zone you can see here the hands just fast and the friction on the ball is uh, very very hard way it flies I mean, it's only two bounces to the boundary 45 already of 18 balls a strike rate is 250 Now, has he timed this? Yes, he has. Oh, that is so tantalizing for McMillan. The kids are loving this. Tendolka up to 49. Oh, it's going to be a fun summer. It really is. May not be a lot of fun for a few bowlers. Those that like attacking batting and classy stroke play leading into the World Cup it's a, worth the admission how good's that it's going to be good enough I would suggest uh, Canning even though a very brave effort for 8 runs and there's 50 for Tendulka first time out He's making the most of the fact that uh, they're still on the first five overs, only two men back. And just beautiful shots hitting through it, full face, straight. He got slightly underneath it, but uh, it was enough to go to the boundary for another eight. Harry's good, but he ain't that good. Man, did that get to point quickly. Well, what can you say about this batting? This is bat speed at its best. Look at that. He gets the follow through back past his uh, left ear. Whack he do. That is just flown. Harris is just. Uh, <laughs> no chance. 61 off 21 balls. Add six to that. Did it make the line? No, it didn't, in fact. What a big over that is. And all of a sudden, India are 80 for one after five overs, and the deficit only 43. Well, a quarter of a century of runs off that over. 25 off Jake, off Jake Oram's over. 24 of them to Sachin Tendulkar has hit or up to all parts. 65 now. Das would just do well to hit a single a ball. Sachin Tendulkar. 65. That's a nice score. The Max International. There's been four of them previously. Quite in control. Oh, dare I say, it's four more. Well, this is one of the best shots I've seen tonight. Because you look at the wrists. You look at the way he changed his mind halfway through this shot. He was going to hit it over extra cover and then thought, no. I'll open the face of the bat and deliberately hit it over gully. You watch. He's sitting extra cover. Then all of a sudden, the wrists take it over the top of gully. That's a superb cricket shot. Very hard to defend. Still three overs to go for India. Oh, that is magnificent. Just chipping it, trolling it. Well, we're going to see a century by the little master. Brendan McCullum in the deep. He'll be keeping in the second innings. 
Slow ball, good delivery. Bowls the leg spinner as opposed to the off spinner with that change up. Oh, caught this time. Yeah, it's got him. Follow him outside that leg stop. And Tendolka has just shown how good he is, how great he is. A magnificent innings of 72. Well, good luck to Hitchcock. He has earned the first few bucks on his contract. He's got a prize scalp there. He's walked outside leg stump looking to hit it through extra cover. And a big thick edge through to uh, fellow Wellingtonian Chris Nevin sees the end of Tendalka. The first of many standing ovations this summer. 108 for two.